Hello again. Uh, thank you for introduction. Uh, my name is Dmitry, uh, and I will make a short overview of Fluence, a decentralized serverless compute platform, and uh, how it can help uh, compute providers as well as uh, developers. So, as I said, Fluence is a decentralized serverless compute platform, and uh, we can question actually every word here. What does decentralized mean? At least it means distributed and uh, in some sense trustless. So you need to reason about the trust. It should be unstoppable, censorship resistant, uh, fault tolerant. Uh, that's probably the minimum. And the words compute platform uh, for Fluence means that Fluence replicates the cloud stack. Uh, so you can build uh, the whole application uh, based on that. Um, a little bit more detail. Uh, the objective uh, of Fluence protocol is to run arbitrary code without limitations, with a similar speed and uh, utility as the cloud. So I want to run code anywhere, on the edge, locally, in the browser. Uh, we want consensus to be opt-in or like optional uh, to reach uh, high performance. We want to be fa fault tolerant, secure, uh, asynchronous, that means that transactions or operations or function calls shouldn't be in a sequence. Uh, we should be able to run them in parallel if we want to. Uh, and uh, we want it to be compatible with uh, multiple data inputs and outputs like IPFS, Filecoin, or Weave, uh, different chains, uh, other protocols, uh, proprietary data sources, and so on and so forth. Because mainly we're about being the cloud, not about doing everything for all the world. So speaking about the consensus, um, we can say that uh, there are two very different kinds of decentralized compute. Uh, on one hand, we have a blockchain compute. Uh, we have uh, smart contracts on chain. Uh, and fundamentally, it's sufficient for deterministic pro processing for uh, uh, redundant, constrained, expensive. Expensive, why expensive? Because we repeat the same computation many times and the same data uh, many times. So there are some limitations, which also open possibilities, but they are constraints. For uh, the general purpose compute, which is 99% of all the web, web compute, actually, uh, we need to provide computations with uh, non-deterministic side effects. Otherwise, it's kind of useless or uh, it's already covered with uh, the blockchain. So we want uh, to have a universal runtime uh, to run uh, computation cheap and fast, uh, to be permissionless, uh, and run anything. So uh, again, why decentralized compute? Why, uh, why do this at all? And why to make a new software stack for that? Um, we expect it to be cheaper, and uh, Filecoin is a good showcase how uh, Web3 economic, uh, economy can uh, make uh, services uh, cheaper. Uh, we want to free uh, developers from the cloud lock-in uh, to enable them to switch providers. Uh, we want to be deplatforming resistance, resistant to have no API to shut off, as there is no API. Uh, no way to deplatform anyone. Uh, I want to accelerate innovations, and uh, for all of that, uh, we need to be verifiable or auditable in terms of computation and uh, proving that compute has happened. Uh, how the price uh, is going to be lower? How could it be cheap? So um, Fluence runs on a decentralized compute marketplace, and anyone any, uh, anyone who has a, a spare CPU time can contribute compute capacity. Uh, open protocol eliminates uh, switching costs between providers. And with no switching costs, uh, there is competition uh, which drives down the compute costs. Yeah, and we already saw how it works with um, Filecoin. Uh, and uh, for uh, traditional clouds, it's not the case. Um, a few uh, providers of cloud services 
um, control the majority of the market and uh, uh, the revenue is growing pretty fast because once you iterate one of the uh, computer providers, one of the cloud providers, it's very hard to leave. It's very hard to switch. Um, and uh, that's why decentralized compute networks are good uh, because pro providers can be changed at will. No switching cost, no lock-in uh, because that's the protocol. Uh, another point is that we have deplatforming risks. Uh, clouds can uh, shut off an application for any reason. And not only clouds, APIs can also uh, ban uh, the users of these APIs or they can change or shut down uh, the API itself. And the majority of infrastructure, Web3 decentralized infrastructure is either just centralized backends of uh, dApps uh, or it's centralized developer APIs that the apps use. With decentralized compute, we have no API to shut off, no deplatforming risk. Uh, and another point is that uh, centralized compute prevents collaboration and innovation. Uh, you know this uh, walled garden model uh, when all the data uh, and all the compute resources uh, is uh, surrounded by the walls of some corporation like Twitter, Facebook, and so on. Uh, which prevents developers from adding uh, to existing applications and platforms. Uh, in decentralized networks, uh, we have composability uh, of protocols, which is nice. So um, all of this constitutes a new generation, a new step uh, in uh, the evolution of uh, compute. We had mainframes, uh, we had centralized cloud platforms, and now uh, we're opening the era of decentralized serverless compute platforms. That's happening right now. But that means that it hasn't happened before. Uh, and uh, that's because making the real open decentralized compute hard, especially it's super hard, extremely hard to do it without blockchain. Because uh, we want to be verifiable, and scalable at the same time, and uh, I want to run uh, compute on generalized compute capacity. That's hard. But now, thanks to the concept like uh, web of trust, uh, different consensuses, uh, and uh, ZK proofs, we can um, build the model uh, that will help with that. So Fluence is not a blockchain. It does run on blockchain, and uh, uh, the competition is more like AWS or something like that, not blockchain smart contracts. So we can uh, look at uh, Fluence Decentralized Serverless Compute Platform from two different angles. It's a developer platform, and for the developers, uh, it offers serverless compute functions and workflows. And for uh, the compute providers, for data centers, uh, it's a computing marketplace, a decentralized network for compute providers. For the developers, the simplest analogy, uh, not super precise, but simple, is that uh, we have something like AWS Lambda, Cloud Functions, and we have a WebAssembly runtime for that called Maureen. Uh, we have an analogy for AWS uh, Step Functions, distributed algorithms, uh, and that's uh, Aqua, and influence, and uh, the protocol itself ends on this step, and all the other behaviors are actually distributed algorithms like load balancing, routing, scaling, orchestration deploy, and all of this can be done in the scripting fashion as the Aqua libraries. So we can collaborate on that. And a computing marketplace uh, is where service providers and uh, developers meet uh, each other. Uh, and uh, developers uh, aim at uh, low price decentralized uh, compute capacity with all the security guarantees uh, like uh, auditability uh, provided by the protocol. And service providers uh, can monetize their capacity with the capacity incentives uh, that we have. So that's about uh, the new revenue stream for uh, field miners. So Fluence is uh, another way to bring compute to the data. Uh, we had the previous talk about FVM. Uh, Fluence solves similar problem, but uh, 
with a different approach. So miners earn from unused CPU compute capacity, not GPU. We are using utilizing CPU. Uh, and uh, compute unlocks values in stored data, as uh, film miners already have data, uh, they can benefit from it more. After sealing, uh, CPU is uh, free, uh, and uh, uh, compute providers can monetize CPUs. Yeah, we expect that uh, compute demand will grow because uh, more data, more needs to compute, more ways to compute, more different jobs. Uh, so monetization will increase uh, the revenue. And to have this revenue from uh, useful uh, work made on the network, uh, we need to have uh, verifiability. We need to have uh, a variety of proofs to distribute the incentives. And uh, we have three kinds of proofs. Uh, the main one is uh, the proof of processing that proves Aqua, the distributed workflows. So it's verified uh, by every peer on the way of execution uh, of the distributed algorithm. And uh, after that, uh, we have probabilistic verification on chain. You can ask which chain, uh, I hope, and uh, the goal is to use uh, uh, FVM. We are going to run on FVM. Verification should be uh, done on Filecoin. Another part is proof of execution. Uh, that's the proof of uh, actual compute. Uh, and uh, um, this topic is a bit more difficult because if you want to have effects, then it means that not everything can be uh, verified. Uh, that's why I have these brackets around ZK. So some parts can be verified with ZK, some with the cryptography, some with the consensus. Uh, influence is kind of pluggable. So we support different kinds of uh, uh, compute uh, verification. And this verification comes as part of the proof of processing. And we have a proof capacity that incentivizes uh, providing compute capacity uh, to subsidize uh, the uh, supply side of the compute marketplace. Uh, and uh, that's for miners to join. So yeah, storage and compute together uh, forms decentralized cloud, so a lot of synergy between Fluence and uh, Filecoin. Uh, we did actually all the stack. Uh, we have a WebAssembly runtime that was the first to run interface types uh, for WebAssembly. Uh, it runs well-typed uh, WebAssembly in JavaScript, including browser. We have CLI, uh, we have Algal, Aqua libraries, uh, we have uh, the showcase for decentralizing Infura with FRPC. Uh, we raised 15 millions uh, and uh, we have our testnet live. Just a few words about the roadmap. Uh, as we are on the testnet currently, it means that we aim going live uh, and we expect to have a, a our mainnet running on FVM in Q4. And uh, uh, this release should be mainly focused on uh, the most fundamental proofs and on the proof of capacity for uh, the compute providers. And uh, next year, we'll be working on uh, more proofs, more languages, and uh, better developer experience. Yeah, we raised 15 million from top investors, including PL, which is super nice. Uh, we have some founders, uh, Tom Trowbridge, Evgeny uh, Panarev, and, and me. Uh, yeah, and uh, we have a mission. Fundamentally, it's a kind of uh, slightly insane project because we really want to make decentralized compute really decentralized, like no compromises. And uh, um, that's kind of very visionary. Uh, and we really want to empower the next wave of internet innovation, remove these uh, blocks uh, made by Web2 approach, and so on. So that's what we are working on. Yep, that's all from me, uh, Fluence.network. We have Discord, Fluence.chat. Uh, I'll be around uh, today. It would be awesome to 
discuss anything, especially I like discussing proofs. Uh, and we are hiring. Thank you very much.